Today I'm going to share with you three big ideas from Men's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Viktor Frankl was a psychiatrist who was sent to four different concentration camps by the Nazi party in World War II. He survived the Holocaust and he's written this book, Men's Search for Meaning. So Men's Search for Meaning is divided into two parts. In the first part, he described the life experience in a concentration camp. He makes an analysis of the prisoner's psychology and then in the second part, he explains about logotherapy, logo which denotes meaning in Greek. In the first part of the book, Viktor Frankl describes the suffering, the horror of living in a concentration camp under the Nazi regime. He found himself stripped to naked existence, every possession lost, every value destroyed, suffering from hunger, cold, and brutality. He lost his father, mother, brother and wife, and still found meaning in life. I've created a free PDF that summarizes the three big ideas of men's search for meaning. You can download at the end of this video. Big idea number one, he who has a why to live for can bear with almost any how he chooses. This was really a core of what Frankl discovered. Frankl wrote about his own why and its power to help him endure the atrocities many of us cannot even imagine. Frankl noticed the prisoners most likely to survive were not the strongest, the biggest, but those who had what he called a will to meaning. Some inmates caught a disease Frankl called give up it is. In other words, the prisoners simply gave up faith in their strength to survive. They had completely lost their why. One morning, those prisoners would continue lying in bed. No matter how hard the guards beat them, they were not able to get up. They would continue lying in bed all day and night in their own excrement. Frankl found a clear sign that predicted with 100% accuracy that one of those inmates would be dead within a couple of days. When a prisoner lost hope, he would slowly reach into the folds of his clothes and pull out a cigarette. He would light up his cigarette to enjoy his last days. When life loses meaning, humans resort to short-term pleasure-seeking. The loss of meaning creates an existential void in a person's life that quickly fills in with despair. The prisoner who had lost faith in his future is doomed. Big idea number two, meaning in life comes from fulfilling work, loving relationships and courageous suffering. Through work, Frankl shared the story of an inmate he met who contemplated suicide. The man was in the middle of writing a scientific textbook before being captured. Frankl changed the man's perspective. The man realized he was the only person who could write about his scientific research, so he knew he had to stay alive to complete it. What kept this man alive all those years in camp was the fact that he hadn't yet finished. When you have a unique project in life, a project that has deep meaning to you, it will enable you to keep going through all the pains, sorrows and joys of everyday living. Throughout Love, Frankl shared another story where he wrote about a man who managed to find meaning in life through love. The man gave himself to his child waiting for him in a foreign country. The loving relationship between father and child helped the inmate recognize that nobody else could replace him as father. He had to survive the daily atrocities of concentration camps, not for himself, but for his child. Suicide was averted when both men could see a responsibility they still carried for someone or something outside of themselves, through facing suffering with courage when it's unavoidable. Spending three years in concentration camps, Frankl endured hardship and intense suffering. An element of Frankl's survival is his ability to sustain a vision of a future. During all the atrocities, he imagined himself lecturing about his camp experiences and described how this allowed him to raise above the suffering. Quote, Suddenly I saw myself standing on the platform of a well-lit, warm and pleasant lecture room. In front of me sat an attentive audience on comfortable upholstered seats. I was giving a lecture on the psychology of a concentration camp. All that oppressed me at that moment became objective, seen and described from the remote viewpoint of science. By this method, I succeeded somehow in rising above the situation above the suffering of the moment, and I observed them as if they were already of the past. Both I and my trouble became the object of an interesting psychoscientific study, 
undertaken by myself. Unquote. This paragraph of the book showed how Frankel found meaning in suffering for a greater cause. The more you can forget yourself and dedicate your life to something outside of yourself, the more human you are, and this is the self-transcendence that gives life meaning. Big idea number three. Everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the loss of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's way. This is powerful insight from man's search for meaning. Viktor Frankl had his family taken away, all his possession taken away, all the family goals in life taken away. The traumatic circumstances of life in camp took away almost all control Frankl had except how he chose to respond. He decided to choose carefully what attitude to cultivate towards life. He wrote, every day, every hour, offered the opportunity to make a decision. A decision which determined whether you would or would not submit to those powers which threatened to rob you of your very self, your inner freedom, which determined whether or not would become the plaything of circumstance renouncing freedom and dignity to become molded into the form of a typical inmate. In any challenging situation, it's crucial to evaluate what is in your control and what is outside of your control. Paying attention to what is in your control shifts your perspective and gives you choice. True freedom lies in choice. You can choose how you respond to something, even being in Auschwitz. Men's Search for Meaning is a remarkable book. I highly recommend you pick it up and read it because it's going to change your perspective on life. I hope you found this video useful. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. If you would like a free PDF that summarizes the three big ideas of Men's Search for Meaning, click the link in the description below. If you enjoy watching this video, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking here.